Hi, I'm Justin Gunther. I'm the director here at Falling Water, and we're on the second floor hallway, and I'm walking into Edgar Kaufman Sr.'s bedroom so that I can share with you the tower window. And Wright uses this large expanse of glass to serve as a counterbalance between the two stone masses of the house. These two stone masses serve as the anchoring points for the cantilever terraces. Um, but all of this glass is about transparency. It's about making the walls dissolve so that we have these dramatic views of the exterior, this whole idea of bringing outside inside and inside outside. Um, and that's enhanced by this feature, the glass just disappearing into the stonework. This was actually Edgar Kaufman Sr.'s idea and Wright adopts it. So rather than having steel hold the glass vertically. The glass just disappears into a chase in the stonework and that allows the exterior material to seamlessly flow inside. Then when we look up to the ceiling, the floor slabs are actually cantilevers as well and they're miter cut in so that the concrete mass of the floor slab doesn't disrupt the glass tower from the exterior. But what this cantilever also affords is right to break down the box. So when you go to the corner and you swing open the screens and then open the casements, right breaks down the box and the entire corner disappears. And that's Falling Water's tower window.